Okay, in this video, we're going to go work through some um, of the problems from the Lesson 6 review sheet, um, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page with these. All right, this first problem is, what is the 124th term in the sequence? And if you notice, because the difference is 6 each time, it's called an arithmetic sequence. Um, arithmetic sequences, we can always write out this general formula. The nth term, which is what t to the n mean, means, is equal to t to the 1, which is the first term, plus the difference times n minus 1. Well, in this case, t to the 1 is 26, so you got 26. Um, and di the difference, well, you're going down 6, so you actually have to include this as negative 6. And then times n minus 1 equals t to the n. So that's our generalized formula for this sequence. We want to know the 124th term, so we want to know t to the 124. That's going to give me 26 plus, and you're going to do negative 6 times, well, 124 minus 1 is just 123. When you multiply that together, you get 26 plus a negative 738. So the answer is negative 712. So the 123rd term, 24th term of this sequence is negative 712. Okay, this one asks for the sum of the sequence. Remember your sum is the first term plus the last term divided by 2 and then times the number of terms. Well, so we first need to find, we know the first and the last, right? So it's going to give us um, 15 plus 257 divided by 2. But we need to know what the number of terms is. Well, the, there's a couple ways to do it, but the easiest is the first minus the last divided by the difference plus 1. Well, that gives you 242. 242 divided by 11 is just 22 plus 1 is 23. So there are 23 terms. So that's going to give you 15 plus 257 is 272. Divided by 2 is 136, so you're doing 136 times 23, and 136 times 23 just equals, as you go through and multiply it out, um, 3,128. So the sum of the series there is 3,128. All right, the next is to find the sum of the um, uh, four, first 14 terms in this sequence. And so we need to remember what our geometric formula is. Our geometric formula says the sum of a certain number of terms is always going to be equal to the, t to the first term times 1 minus the ratio to the n all over 1 minus the ratio. So in this case, t to the n um, the, or t to the 1 is going to be 16. Your ratio, now your ratio is not always easy to figure out, right? So we've got 16 here, and then 1 minus, and our ratio, well, you just do the, um, you do 12 over 16 to find the ratio, and you find out it's 3 fourths. You could do 9 over 12 and also find that it's 3 fourths. And so this is going to be 3 fourths to the n, um, and then all over 1 minus 3 fourths, and our n is 14, so our problem is just going to be 16 times 1 minus 3 fourths to the 14th all over, well, 1 minus 3 fourths is just um, 1 fourth. And so um, you can go through and calculate that um, out um, and go through and multiply it out, and you get the sum of the first 14 terms of the sequence. Okay, the next one is the sum, and so if you equal this, that will, that will give you your sum. Uh, the next one is for an infinite series. Uh, in an infinite series, our sum is always going to be, uh, S is always just the first term over 1 minus the ratio. A very, very simple formula and one you just need to remember. And so the sum is going to equal, well, 54 is your first term. The ratio is 1 third because 18 over 54 equals 1 third. 6 over 18 equals 1 third. So that gives you 54 over 2 thirds. Um, which can be simplified by multiplying by the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is going to give you 81. So the sum of this infinite sequence, as it went on forever, is going to be 81. Um, the uh, next one, three problems are just factoring problems. Um, this first one uses the difference of um, two cubes. You should know this formula. a cubed minus b cubed is just equal to a minus b times a squared plus AB 
plus b squared. So in this case, our a is 2y because 2y cubed equals 8y cubed. And then our b is 5. And so now we just plug it into the formula and we get 2y minus 5. 2y squared is just 4y squared minus the product of the two, which is 10y, and it's actually plus, and then plus 25. There you are done factoring. On the next one, this one, you're looking at um, the difference of two squares, and so it's just going to be um, uh, because there are, whenever you've got two terms and there are no cubes, and your only other option is difference of two squares, and so in this case it's going to be 4x squared minus 9 times 4x squared plus 9. However, you may notice that this is also the difference of two squares. And so you can write that as 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. Difference of two squares is something that you should know. And if you don't know, then you need to go back to that lesson and learn about it. All right, this last one's the hardest. Um, and uh, first off, if you went through and tried to do FOIL on this, you would be FOILed. You would be able to figure it out. So you need to find out something that I can add to this. Whenever you do these problems, the only option is something that you can add to this to make this a perfect square. And it only works if it's x to the fourth. And so in this case, it is. Well, if you add 4x squared, you end up with this. A x to the fourth times 8x squared plus 16, which is x squared plus 4 squared. That's really nice, except you added 4x squared. So to, get, to undo that, you have to subtract 4x squared as well, which gives us this right here. Now, the reason that was good is because x squared plus 4x, uh, x squared plus 4 squared is a perfect square, and so is negative 4x squared. And so when you factor this, you can do the difference of two squares. x squared plus 4 minus, well, the square root of 4x squared is 2x, and x squared plus 4 plus 2x. And so the factorization of this problem is x squared plus 4 minus 2x, x squared plus 4 um, plus 2x. So those are the first seven problems. We'll do the next video. We'll cover the uh, last seven problems from that uh, review sheet.